Hi, welcome to the ADF channel. Today I'll, I will be talking about entities, view objects and modules. So, let's start out with a database. We have a database and we would like to create an ADF application on top of this database. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to define some entities. Entities are Java objects and these are abstractions for the tables in your database. One entity corresponds to one uh, one database table and entities have attributes each uh, ev every attribute maps onto a column in the in the database entities can be built by uh, using JPA or, or or other technologies like top link or hibernate so on top of entities we have views so one thing to bear in mind is that uh, this the view here is not the v is not the view in in a typical MVC. Rather, the view here is uh, is the view into your entity. So, for example, uh, this view has two uh, attributes. Can display two attributes of the six, or one, or all six of them. Okay. So, really, the view is more like a database uh, table view. Furthermore, you can we can define uh, relationships between view through something called a view link. A view link is like a master detail relationship or foreign key if you rather think of it in terms of uh, da database. And what view link does is, as the name implies, it links view together. And it and for example, uh, if you got a department view and an employee view, then you could link them together using a view link, which defines a department uh, employee employees relationship finally uh, we have application modules application modules are really operations defined around a set of um, a set of views uh, so for example one application module can be uh, pro uh, providing uh, a list of all the employees that has uh, that are under a particular department or a manager that has got five or more employees reporting to him or her so let's go to the code and see how we actually uh, do do this now. So I'm going to open up J J Developer and I'm using uh, 11G Release 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by creating an ADF application. So we select ADF application and we click OK. So uh, I'm running. Uh, uh, Oracle XE database and in Oracle XE database there is a, a sample uh, database called HR so I'm going to be creating my views uh, on on that particular database so the application name I'm going to call is HR app and the uh, application package prefix I'm going to call com at me HR and I'm um, done with it so uh, so J developer is now going to create a a project for me so as you can see the project contains two application modules are uh, two 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 modules one is the model what module where which we will hold our our modules our uh, our entities our views our application and the view controller it's uh, that's the uh, that's that's a web portion the display portion of the application of the application so in this particular screencast we will not be looking at view controller one other nice things nice thing that uh, J developer displays is uh, this little chart here a quick quick start checklist so if you are new to developing an application sometimes you may get you may get a little bit lost as to what uh, what to do well, this little chart provides you with a really nice uh, nice step by step uh, step by step in showing you what you should need to do so the first thing I'm going to do is this I'm going to create a database connection so so the the ADF application requires some application resource currently my application resource is sort of empty so I'm going to say I'm going to create a database connection to be used throughout this uh, this my application so I'm going to call the database connection HR and I'll provide the username and password which is HR HR and I can test the connection which says you know my uh, I can connect to it so my database is started so so now what happens is you see in my application resource uh, I have got a HR da database so that is done now the next thing that I will do is I will cr build my business 
services so my business services is creating my entity objects view objects view links and application module now you can create this uh, manually but what I'm going to show you now is uh, uh, just to use this uh, quick um, uh, just this wizard to step you to step us through to create uh, the entities the the views any view links and application module so in sub step sub step 3.1 we will create entity objects and associations so I'm going to create it in in the model click OK so now the next step is to say you know which database I'm going to use so I've only got one which is HR so I'm going to select se select that and now it says you know uh, what are the tables that you want to create the entity on so you could type it in or I'm just going to click query which uh, J developer will now query my HR database and these are the tables that it has come back with okay so I'm going to create uh, employees I'm going to select uh, departments and jobs okay so these are the three tables that I would wish to create entity and views for so next thing I would do is this uh, the J developer will now say you know th these are the default views uh, uh, default entities that that I'm that I'm going to uh, that, that I'm going to create for you and as well as it's also going to create uh, the, the views for you so I'm going to select all of them uh, so these are our queries which we will skip for for now and finally it says it asks me you know what is the uh, name of the application module to to wrap the view and the uh, to, to wrap the view in so I'm going to just call it HR app module next um, J developer also can document this for you in in terms of diagram so J what J de developer is doing now is asking me whether I would like to generate uh, some business uh, uh, some business components diagram and just for the uh, just for the fun of it I'm gonna say yes and finally uh, I get to confirm and see what I'm actually creating so I've got some entity objects three if you remember employee department jobs entity my views which is also the same and I've got one one application module and one diagram so let's click that and what J, J developer is going to do now is this is going to go off and generate uh, all that for me so this is the uh, business component diagram so let me let me zoom in on a little bit so it generates three sort of three diagrams for you the first diagram uh, this is the database schema uh, that that we have just selected my uh, my entity are my department and my, and my jobs okay secondly this is the uh, this is the relationship so it's saying that uh, the, in this particular empo employees view I'm using this employees entity and so on and so forth and the third diagram here uh, shows me uh, what is inside my application module it shows me uh, there is a jobs to employee relationship or there's a, there's a employees to employees which is a which is like a manager to employees relationship uh, employees to department and finally the third relationship is a uh, departments to to to, to employee okay now so this is the application module that is generated um, so what uh, what ADF does is this it generates basically two things one is the data control which uh, data control is uh, it's it's the it's the opposite uh, it's it's the expression of this uh, HR module uh, it allow it shows us uh, the uh, under this HR app module we have got one department uh, let me just one department uh, these are department ID and under this department I've got this this uh, uh, I've got employees and I there are also some operations default operations defined you can define more like create delete next last to traverse through my set I also got uh, uh, queries there is one default query which is you know get all um, uh, get get all the employees under a particular department uh, this is the second um, second relationship which we've seen here employees and this is the third one and finally we have one operation uh, we have a set of operations for the entire uh, HR uh, app module okay so for example if you have added you know some uh, a, a new department we could say commit and that will 
that will write it to the database or we can say rollback and you know it will perform a rollback now uh, ADF allows us to very quickly test this particular app, app module by just double clicking on oops by just running right click and run sorry not double click but right click and run and what happened is this we get this nice little um, swing application which s defines the three the the three uh, views departments employees and jobs view and also what you notice is that uh, it is also picked up on the relationship which is uh, here if you look at it again okay here okay so under departments uh, it is related it's this link is create is created a view link to employees tree employees uh, is linked to a department and employees is linked to other employees which is a manager relationship so we can actually look at it by double clicking on department and we'll just see the department or if we just click on employees and we'll see the employees right but if we click on uh, this particular view link we would see the relationship between departments and employees so we can actually scroll scroll through them so this is actually basic uh, our our logic our access uh, so uh, we can very quickly you know test our um, our operations our business uh, logic okay uh, one other thing that you can do is this you can uh, customize your your app module or of views or entities for that for that matter for example are uh, you could double click on let's say the employees entity and you could add attributes delete attributes you could provide validation rules uh, you could uh, create the actual uh, instance of the of the java op java objects uh, etc and we will go through all this uh, in subsequent uh, screencast so uh, i will stop here for for now and in um, my next uh, screencast I will show you how to uh, use uh, what we have generated today uh, to build uh, a web application uh, on HR thank you very much